Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the IOS News' Sunday Paper Program. This week, Congress avoided a vote on Syria. The nation mourned its 9-11 anniversary. Hillary came to Philly to rack up more awards on her march to the presidency. Hurricane Pyro hits the Jersey boardwalk. And AC gets the crown Miss America. This and more on tonight's edition of the I'm Only Serious News' Sunday Paper Program. It's the I'm Only Serious News Network with Dam Han, Dave Morrow, and Darren Martinez. Congress this week escaped having to take a nasty vote on whether or not to bomb Syria when President Obama and Russia agreed to take all the chemical weapons out of Syria. He still plans to send both Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton over to inspect the storage sites. Let's hope they find something. <laughs> I'm only serious. Uh, but there was a chemical attack this week in Syria when Syrian President Bashar Assad raised his arms to surrender his chemical weapons, thus killing seven of his closest aides. <laughs> That's more serious too. The nation mourned the 12th anniversary of the terrorist attacks in New York, Washington, and Pennsylvania with moments of silence and prayers and uh, putting their hearts out for the people of both New York and Washington. Of course, the next day, people of the country went back to hating those people from New York and Washington. <laughs> Hillary Clinton was in Philadelphia this week to receive the Liberty Award for her many years of public service. Bill Clinton and Mayor Nutter Butter Peanut Butter spent the afternoon down to Lila's. <laughs> making it rain, folks, making it rain. A one-time child hero in the city who turned his dad in for dealing drugs when he was a 12-year-old has now been sentenced to 60 years in prison himself for the attempted murder of a former business associate. No word yet on whether his dad is going to let him move back in or not. The Jersey Shore took another hit as Hurricane Pyro struck the boardwalk down the Seaside Heights section. Governor Christie showed up to help in the cleanup of popcorn. It was everywhere. Yes. It was noted that he had eaten five bags of his own. 55 gallon bags, that is. On the teen scene, police in southwest Washington arrested a 13-year-old student who made threats that forced the closure of six schools, affecting some 4,000 students. He was later nominated for class president in five of those schools. <laughs> Go figure. And that little bastard from New Jersey who killed 12-year-old Autumn Pasquale over her BMX bike was recently sentenced to 17 years in prison. He stated he was sorry for his crime, but not as sorry as he'll be meeting his new cellmate. The judge also added an E to his last name, just in case he needs it while he's in there, if you know what I mean. And speaking of gay relationships, a judge in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, has put the brakes on issuing any more marriage licenses to same-sex couples. Iowa News tried to get away with the judge, but he's already back in the closet, folks. Back in the closet, you see. School libraries in the city of Philadelphia have been closed due to the financial crisis affecting the district. Students will now need to find a new place to make out. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah. And Sandusky, folks, unfortunately, is back in the news this week as he tries to appeal his conviction for his uh, child molestation charges. In his appeal, Sandusky states he was just trying to make his kids millionaires, which you got to give it to him, he did. Oh. This just in from one of our interns at IOS News. Folks, it appears Dave Morrow will be joining us on set to discuss a major news announcement. Breaking news here at IOS News. But before we get to that, let's take a quick break. Dave Morrow will be back with us in a minute. After a tough night on the set, I'd like to come through the Paul Dean Studios here to the craft services area and enjoy some, what else? Crackers, please. My favorite. Small refreshing. Hey, there's Dave. Dave, how about some crackers? Please. And now, available at Walmart. Mmm. Mm -hmm. 
in sports. The Eagles are 1-1 one one after the second week of the season and losing a home opener to the Chargers 33-30. Michael Vick was asked after the game how it went and he said he was dull tired, which when translated just meant he was dead tired. <laughs> That's how we know. Yeah, but Gamblers Nationwide are happy though as both their games have produced 33 pool winners. <laughs> Go figure. And the Phillies, folks, they continue to win some and lose some. Waste your time if you want. The Flyers get set to win a cup as training camp opens. This is our year. And the Sixers are practicing with the New Jersey Devils this season. <laughs> Trying to save money as both teams are owned by the same scab. Enough with sports. Tonight we got another uh, edition from our iOS News movie correspondent Darren Martinez on updates on some new releases that you may or may not wish to see. Darren? So in the movies uh, this weekend, we had some some stinkers. Uh, number one was uh, Insidious Chapter 2 with $41 million. Um, number two was The Family with $14.5 million. And number three was Riddick with $7 million. And I got a chance to see Riddick last week and um, it was fun. Uh, I think I talked about that, right? I think we talked about that last time, right? This week I got a chance to see the one that came in first place, which was Insidious Chapter 2. And uh, it was it was a lot like the first one, Dan. It wasn't, uh, I, personally, I just it wasn't up to my standards for a horror film, if that's what they're trying to go by. Uh, I feel like you need to have more scares in your film. Spoiler alert, not that many scares. I don't want to give away the film, though. You might enjoy it. It, it made a lot of money, so I'm sure a ton of people enjoyed it. There's probably tons of people on Facebook right now saying, Oh my God, it's the scariest movie I've ever seen. Go watch it tonight. Personally, uh, no scares for me. So, uh, with that being said, The Family was number two. Um, that's the Robert De Niro film where he's in a, he's in a mafioso, you know, he's a, with Michelle Pfeiffer, who still looks great for her age. I don't know if you guys saw, if you saw Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp, I don't know if you saw that film. But she's in it, and she's incredible. Michelle Pfeiffer. Cougarlicious. Yeah, Cougarlicious. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, so that's all. It's real short right now, but, uh, well, looks like uh, Dave Morrow just got into the studio. So I'm going to kick it back over to you, Dan. All right. Thanks, Darren. And, yep, Dave Morrow, folks, has just gotten into the studio. How's so, Dave, how you doing, man? How are you? Good, good. good Something tells me. His Glad latest pu publication is a bit due to come out with the bag in his hand. Yeah. Dave, um, something exciting? I uh, the, the reason I've called this press conference, I need, have something that I need to get out to the American people. Um, it is a truth that I've been meaning to confess for quite some time now, but felt that it was not, the timing was not appropriate. Um, I, I, Ron Morrow, uh, you can call me Dave. Ron Morrow is my legal name now for religious purposes. Have never been a published author. Never been never been no. a published author. What about the books we've been talking about? Uh all of these books are written. Um but you see uh some bad deals with the publishing house fucker. Uh the public publishing house folks have led to all of my property names being bought up before I have the chance to produce them. They are taken off the market completely uh, through the machinations of none other than Pierre Lapierre. Pierre Lapierre. Yes. Uh, what was the latest on him? I thought we were on the, right on the cusp of catching him. Wasn't he with uh, Smarmy or didn't Smarmy locate him? See, Pierre is a tricky bastard. He managed to escape me that time, but... Uh, I have a feeling he'll strike again. I he, hear you may have injured his leg, though, prior to him escaping in a fight you might have had. Yes, that's where my good old-fashioned German kickboxing techniques came in handy. Ah. So now we can find him out. He has a noticeable limp, we understand. Yes. A noticeable limp. Well, he'll show himself. I got a man like Pierre. And he's removed his Pierre. hair, I believe, too. Hasn't he removed his hair? Mm, that's a side effect when you, when you start it suicide cult that's kind of the thing you have to have uh, like a look that everybody's got to go for. Well, we got a sketch artist of him, I believe, somewhere around here. Uh, actually, I have a few right here. Um, if uh, you see anyone that looks like that uh, right here, 
So it was a bit hasty. Uh, that's his toupee. Uh, anyone looking, anyone fitting that description, you have yet found the one and only Pierre Lapierre. And well, please. this is the sketch we were able to get from our sketch artist. I gotta say, it looks like something from the Alien Files. <laughs> yes. uh, speaking connection? of aliens, on that same note, uh, I was able to uncover my laptop that got me through Roswell a few years back. I don't know if you were following my newsletter at that time. Uh, here is my beauty. Um, a little damaged from the encounter. Uh, but I will have a Ron Morrow website up and functioning again uh, sometime soon after a brief legal process um, that does not involve Scandinavian smugglers. You have established the name Ron Morrow, though, legally, before they take that, I assume? Yes, yes. Ron, Dave Ron Morrow. Ron's actually my middle name, uh, but I still like to be thought of as a Dave. Okay. And a Ron. You can call me Dave. Put that beat. I'll do that. You saw live here on iOS News, Dave Morrow is no longer Dave Morrow, nor Ron Morrow, nor Dave Ron Morrow. Just call him Pete. And we'll see you again next time on the iOS News' Sunday Paper Program. Have a good night.